building out our first scene in Foundry for our players to explore. The, to start this, we're going to navigate to the Scenes button at the top of our right-hand bar that looks like a small brochure, and you'll see two buttons, Create Scene and Create Folder. So the one that we're interested in for now is the Create Scene button. Uh, just give it a name. The name can be anything. Uh, this will be what populates in your sidebar here. Um, and it, you can use the navigation name here to change what others will see uh, when you're in this navigation pane. So you don't have to name it exactly what you want it to show as. So for example, here we've called it Shuttle Bay. We could title it something different. It'll appear up here in your navigation pane as Space Station Bay. For the accessibility section, this just tells you who will be able to see it up here in your navigation bar. If you want you to be the only person as the GM who sees it in the navigation pane, you'll select GM only. If you want all of the players to be able to view it at any given time, then you'll choose all players. That can create spoilers if you're setting it up with names um, that uh, may give away certain locations. Uh, but as you set it to GM only, you can always share that uh, once you're inside your game. So the background image here is the next thing that we're going to be concerned about. Uh, this will be the image that falls underneath the grid. Um, so if you have a map that, you're, that you plan on putting your player's tokens on, that's what you're going to want to place here. So to do that, we'll just click the button to upload, choose the upload and choose file, and then you're going to find your map, grab it, open it, choose select file, and that will load it into the scene. The grid configuration section here, uh, grid type, you have a few different options as well as grid size. So if you know the grid size from your map, uh, say 50 pixels, 100 pixels, um, then you can go ahead and set it here. Uh, or you can use this button, the ruler, to set it manually um, based on the actual image once it's loaded in. And then the grid scale will set uh, each grid squares in game distance. So if you're using uh, Dungeons and Dragons or something else, you know, five feet. Uh, for grid color, we'll go ahead and set that something fun. This is just going to be the color that the grid uh, appears over the map. And then your grid opacity obviously will control the transparency of the grid. Vision and lighting and ambience and atmosphere, um, you don't have to worry about those too much until you start adding uh, character tokens or NPC tokens on top of the map. We'll just save changes. Uh, it says here again that we're changing the size parameters of the scene so we're just going to click OK and now we have our battle map laid out. The grid looks to be a little bit uh, small for the map that we're using so uh, we can go in and we can make changes to that uh, by right clicking on the on the scene in, in, the, in the right hand bar and choosing the configure option and going down and choosing our ruler icon here. So now that we have the, that window up, um, you can see here that it gives us the specific grid options. We can change your background image size. However, it's probably a lot easier and uh, a lot cleaner to just adjust the grid size in most cases. Um, so you can see here that you have this grid size set. So we can change that here manually um, by changing the values. Um, and you'll see that the grid changes whenever that happens. Um, or you can click on the image and hold your alt key and then use your mouse wheel to roll to higher or lower values. And you can see that it'll just adjust the grid size. Um, so for now, we'll set this to 150. Uh, and then you can see that that lines up right there. But if it didn't say uh, that the grid was, was offset, um, then we could go in here and we could set a X or Y offset to move the grid along the image and get it placed exactly where we want uh, in relation to our map. So here looks good, 150 pixels, uh, no offset, and we will commit to those changes. So now that the grid is set up and sized, the scene is ready to be used in your next game. If you're looking for more VTT, world building, or general tabletop RPG tips and tricks, check out some of our other videos. Thanks for watching.